In particle physics, flavor or flavor refers to the species of an elementary particle. The standard model counts six flavors of quarks and six flavors of leptons. They are conventionally parameterized with flavor quantum numbers that are assigned to all subatomic particles. They can also be described by some of the family symmetries proposed for the quark-lepton generations. Topic: <laughs> Quantum numbers. In classical mechanics, a force acting on a point-like particle can only alter the particle's dynamical state, i.e., its momentum, angular momentum, etc. Quantum field theory, however, allows interactions that can alter other facets of a particle's nature described by non-dynamical, discrete quantum numbers. In particular, the action of the weak force is such that it allows the conversion of quantum numbers describing mass and electric charge of both quarks and leptons from one discrete type to another. This is known as a flavor change, or flavor transmutation. Due to their quantum description, flavor states may also undergo quantum superposition. In atomic physics the principal quantum number of an electron specifies the electron shell in which it resides, which determines the energy level of the whole atom. Analogously, the five flavor quantum numbers isosfan, strangeness, charm, bottomness or topness can characterize the quantum state of quarks, by the degree to which it exhibits six distinct flavors U, D, S, C, B, T. Composite particles can be created from multiple quarks, forming hadrons, such as mesons and baryons, each possessing unique aggregate characteristics, such as different masses, electric charges, and decay modes. A hadron's overall flavor quantum numbers depend on the numbers of constituent quarks of each particular flavor. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conservation laws. All of the various charges discussed above are conserved by the fact that the corresponding charge operators can be understood as generators of symmetries that commute with the Hamiltonian. Thus, the eigenvalues of the various charge operators are conserved. Absolutely conserved flavor quantum numbers are Electric charge Q Weak isosfan I3 Baryon number B Lepton number L. In some theories, the individual baryon and lepton number conservation can be violated, if the difference between them B -L is conserved see chiral anomaly. All other flavor quantum numbers are violated by the electroweak interactions. Strong interactions conserve all flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor symmetry If there are two or more particles which have identical interactions, then they may be interchanged without affecting the physics. Any complex linear combination of these two particles give the same physics, as long as the combinations are orthogonal, or perpendicular, to each other. In other words, the theory possesses symmetry transformations such as m u d display style m left u a top d right where U and D are the two fields representing the various generations of leptons and quarks, see below, and M is any 2 times 2 unitary matrix with a unit determinant. Such matrices form a Lie group called SU see special unitary group. This is an example of flavor symmetry. In quantum chromodynamics, flavor is a conserved global symmetry. In the electroweak theory, on the other hand, this symmetry is broken, and flavor-changing processes exist, such as quark decay or neutrino oscillations. <laughs> <laughs> flavor quantum numbers <laughs> Leptons All leptons carry a lepton number L equals 1. In addition, leptons carry weak isosfan, T3, which is minus one half for the three charged leptons, i.e. electron, muon, and tau, and plus one half for the three associated neutrinos. Each doublet of a charged lepton and a neutrino consisting of opposite T3 are said to constitute one generation of leptons. In addition, one defines a quantum number called weak hypercharge, YW, which is minus one for all left-handed leptons. Weak isosfan and weak hypercharge are gauged in the standard model. 
Leptons may be assigned the six flavor quantum numbers, electron number, muon number, tau number, and corresponding numbers for the neutrinos. These are conserved in strong and electromagnetic interactions, but violated by weak interactions. Therefore, such flavor quantum numbers are not of great use. A separate quantum number for each generation is more useful, electronic lepton number plus one for electrons and electron neutrinos, muonic lepton number plus one for muons and muon neutrinos, and tauonic lepton number plus one for tau leptons and tau neutrinos. However, even these numbers are not absolutely conserved, as neutrinos of different generations can mix, that is, a neutrino of one flavor can transform into another flavor. The strength of such mixings is specified by a matrix called the Pontikorvo Maki Nakagawa Sakata matrix. PMNS matrix. <laughs> quarks All quarks carry a baryon number B. <laughs> One third. They also all carry weak isosphan, T3. Plus or minus one half. The positive T3 quarks up, charm, and top quarks are called up type quarks and negative T3 quarks down, strange, and bottom quarks are called down type quarks. Each doublet of up and down type quarks constitutes one generation of quarks. For all the quark flavor quantum numbers listed below, the convention is that the flavor charge and the electric charge of a quark have the same sign. Thus any flavor carried by a charged meson has the same sign as its charge. Quarks have the following flavor quantum numbers. The third component of isosphan, sometimes simply isosphan I3, which has value I3. Topic: <laughs> One half for the up quark and I3. Minus one half for the down quark. Strangeness s defined as s equals minus n s minus n s, where n s represents the number of strange quarks s, and n s represents the number of strange antiquarks s. This quantum number was introduced by Murray Gell-Mann. This definition gives the strange quark a strangeness of minus one for the above mentioned reason. Charm c defined as c equals n c minus n c where NC represents the number of charm quarks C and NC represents the number of charm antiquarks. The charm quarks value is plus 1. Bottomness or beauty B defined as B equals minus NB minus NB where NB represents the number of bottom quarks B and NB represents the number of bottom antiquarks. Topness or truth T defined as T equals NT minus NT where NT represents the number of top quarks T and NT represents the number of top antiquarks. However, because of the extremely short half-life of the top quark, predicted lifetime of only 5 times 10 s by the time it can interact strongly, it has already decayed to another flavor of quark, usually to a bottom quark. For that reason, the top quark doesn't hadronize, that is, it never forms any meson or baryon. These five quantum numbers, together with baryon number, which is not a flavor quantum number, completely specify numbers of all six quark flavors separately, as nq minus nq, i.e., an antiquark is counted with the minus sign. They are conserved by both the electromagnetic and strong interactions, but not the weak interaction. From them can be built the derived quantum numbers. Hypercharge y y equals b plus s plus c plus b plus t. Electric charge q equals i three plus one half y. See Gell-Mann Nishijima formula. The terms strange and strangeness predate the discovery of the quark, but continued to be used after its discovery for the sake of continuity, i.e., the strangeness of each type of hadron remained the same. Strangeness of antiparticles being referred to as plus one and particles as minus one, as per the original definition. Strangeness was introduced to explain the rate of decay of newly discovered particles, such as the count, and was used in the eightfold way classification of hadrons and in subsequent quark models. These quantum numbers are preserved under strong and electromagnetic interactions, but not under weak interactions. For first-order weak decays, that is processes involving only one quark decay, these quantum numbers e.g. Charm can only vary by one, that is, for a decay involving a charmed quark or antiquark either as the incident particle or as a decay byproduct, delta C. 
topic plus or minus 1 likewise for a decay involving a bottom quark or antiquark delta b plus or minus 1 since first order processes are more common than second order processes involving two quark decays this can be used as an approximate selection rule for weak decays a special mixture of quark flavors is an eigenstate of the weak interaction part of the Hamiltonian, so will interact in a particularly simple way with the W bosons. Charged weak interactions violate flavor. On the other hand, a fermion of a fixed mass, an eigenstate of the kinetic and strong interaction parts of the Hamiltonian, is an eigenstate of flavor. The transformation from the former basis to the flavor eigenstate mass eigenstate basis for quarks underlies the Kabibo Kobayashi Maskawa matrix. This matrix is analogous to the PMNS matrix for neutrinos, and quantifies flavor changes under charged weak interactions of quarks. The CKM matrix allows for CP violation if there are at least three generations. Antiparticles and hadrons Flavor quantum numbers are additive. Hence antiparticles have flavor equal in magnitude to the particle but opposite in sign. Hadrons inherit their flavor quantum number from their valence quarks, this is the basis of the classification in the quark model. The relations between the hypercharge, electric charge and other flavor quantum numbers hold for hadrons as well as quarks. Topic. Quantum chromodynamics Flavor symmetry is closely related to chiral symmetry. This part of the article is best read along with the one on chirality. Quantum chromodynamics QCD contains six flavors of quarks. However, their masses differ and as a result they are not strictly interchangeable with each other. The up and down flavors are close to having equal masses, and the theory of these two quarks possesses an approximate SU symmetry Isosfen symmetry. <laughs> Chiral symmetry description Under some circumstances, the masses of quarks do not meaningfully contribute to the system's behavior, and can be ignored. The simplified behavior of flavor transformations can then be successfully modeled as acting independently on the left and right-handed parts of each quark field. This approximate description of the flavor symmetry is described by a chiral group SUL NF times SUR Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vector symmetry description. If all quarks had non-zero but equal masses, then this chiral symmetry is broken to the vector symmetry of the diagonal flavor group SU NF, which applies the same transformation to both helicities of the quarks. This reduction of symmetry is a form of explicit symmetry breaking. The amount of explicit symmetry breaking is controlled by the current quark masses in QCD. Even if quarks are massless, chiral flavor symmetry can be spontaneously broken if the vacuum of the theory contains a chiral condensate as it does in low energy QCD. This gives rise to an effective mass for the quarks, often identified with the valence quark mass in QCD. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Symmetries of QCD. Analysis of experiments indicate that the current quark masses of the lighter flavors of quarks are much smaller than the QCD scale, lambda QCD, hence chiral flavor symmetry is a good approximation to QCD for the up, down and strange quarks. The success of chiral perturbation theory and the even more naive chiral models spring from this fact. The valence quark masses extracted from the quark model are much larger than the current quark mass. This indicates that QCD has spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking with the formation of a chiral condensate. Other phases of QCD may break the chiral flavor symmetries in other ways. History Some of the historical events that led to the development of flavor symmetry are discussed in the article on isosfan. See also 
standard model mathematical formulation Kabibo Kobayashi Maskawa matrix strong CP problem and chirality physics chiral symmetry breaking and quark matter quark flavor tagging such as B tagging is an example of particle identification in experimental particle physics <laughs>